Cancer. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Cancer Tarot reading. Cancer love tarot reading. Cancer love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Cancer love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them. What's on everybody's mind? Is anyone making a move? What's happening in this connection? Let's see who and what is coming in today. What energy is coming in? It's the Fool and the Eight of Cups. Interesting, because... This is a reversal energy, Saturn and Pisces energy coming here with the Fool. So it's somebody who, well, who did ghost, who pulled away. Hurt your, hurt your heart is what I'm hearing. Like emotionally just really hurt you. I don't know, not being honest about how they feel. There's an apology I feel like that's coming in. It's sort of like a clean sight energy. It is somebody who is thinking about a future with you, another chance with you. Is it now? Is it later? What's going on? Aquarius and Uranus energy, excuse me, around the fool. Connected to the crown chakra, I know. Hmm. What's still going on in that major arcana, you know, before you get into that fool energy? going on in your lives. Cancer, this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. Thank you again for joining me. All your Zodiac readings are linked below in the description of today's video. You'll also find them on the channel, <laughs> the playlist tab, having a brain fart. You'll also find all signs tarot readings. These are collective love readings love readings for the collective. And if you're on a twin flame journey, I do offer very in-depth twin flame readings. So feel free to check those out or anything that you want to check out. They're really easy to reach in the playlists. Speaking of checking out, let's take a look at the energy that is coming in. It's the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody here may be wanting to reach out. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. So getting this urge, you know, and it's coming here with the Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy. It's a teamwork energy. So coming together energy. It's this nest here today. Somebody's coming in here, look, contributing, like to building it. Are they wanting to rebuild the connection, rebuild a life, build a life? What's going on? Because they're showing up here in this energy. It's also around the timing. Divine number, divine timing. Cancer, thank you so much for joining me today. I really, whoa, really appreciate you being here. Nine of Cups, Upright, Emperor in Reverse, the Hermit in Reverse, okay. <laughs> Sliding their way in. I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you subscribing to the Tarot Closet if you haven't, sharing the channel or videos if you're inspired to do so. It really helps to keep the channel moving. So thank you, Cancer. Before we look at this energy, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Jupiter and Pisces energy. Are you hearing from them? Is there more than just hearing from them? Because some wishes are being granted, you could say. The, the Empress, I was saying the Emperor, <laughs> the Empress is here in reverse. Okay, yeah, it's definitely somebody here. Look, there's a really stuck energy. It's somebody who wasn't being honest about their feelings for you. And things did stop. Divine Feminine Energy, Taurus, also bringing in Libra. Connection to Venus, of course, the planet of love. And the Empress is connected to the Heart Chakra. So it's, yeah, it's somebody who's been holding that back. How long has this separation been going on? They've been hiding a lot of things, feelings, the, the truth of how they feel, not opening up, not communicating. 
Are there some timing issues here? Somebody's ready, somebody's not, somebody's available, somebody's not. The Hermit in reverse, Virgo and Mercury energy. I mean, you go in there to get some clarity and truth, you know, and it's in reverse. It's like a, it's a strong validation that this person is really missing you. There's, yeah, there's a stuck energy. It's the separation really strongly validated, but it's somebody here who's afraid to, yeah, to make the same mistakes again. Okay. Let's see what else is coming through. We'll get some clarity. Actually, I want to move the energy a little bit. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what we need to see for Cancer Aho. The sun in reverse. The two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, commitment issues are definitely here. My gosh, indecisive two of swords, page of wands, trying to find a way to come in here. It's just really delayed. How long have you been in no contact? The sun, you know, look, it's, there's a dandelion here today. The wish, here's the thing, it's a wish fulfillment energy, but it's in reverse the sun, a new cycle, working things out, so there's a delay. It doesn't stay in reverse. Is there, why do I feel like there's two cards here? Interesting. When we see the wish fulfillment coming in, is somebody finally making a decision? It's here with the Two of Pentacles, look in the Two of Swords. Two of Pentacles in reverse, I should say, Capricorn and Saturn energy, it's some commitment in issue energy. Somebody's struggling. Ace of Pentacles also in reverse. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus with next level. It can be that there's other, yeah, contracts here. What's going on in that Two of Pentacles? Is it just somebody struggling with, like, committing in terms of next level or just being together, sharing their feelings? Because they have been holding those back. Or is there something else going on? Is there somebody else or something else, like a job or a work, work commitment or housing, like where they live, distance, or other relationships? Because one of these pentacles is yours. I think somebody here is making a decision. It's delayed. Even on our page of wands, like trying to figure out how to come in. Look, the movement. They're coming in here, holding on to this wand. Look, there's a bow on it. So it's like, I kind of, this is what I want to do. I need to find a way. The two of swords is in reverse with the hermit in reverse. So it's a really strong validation of indecision. Somebody here who's just in their head around things. Two of Swords, making a decision, perhaps a compromise, but this decision is around this Two of Pentacles. So one of them, these is yours. And we have the Wish Fulfillment energy here, so are they finally making a decision? And what is it around? Well, there's an apology, Ten of Swords in reverse. These three are yours. Is it around leaving a city, state, country? Are we looking at relationships to other people, romantic or family of origin? Or somebody who's just afraid to take the next level, marriage perhaps or more. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay, it's really strong validate. It's kind of validating the Empress in many ways because the Queen of Pentacles is like my protege to the Empress. It's in reverse. Things not moving for sure. This is an energy of, you know, healing, new beginnings, very resourceful to make things work. And it's not, it hasn't been. But I have to say there's something around this person, some kind of insecure energy. Two of Wands, Justice in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse, Knight of Pentacles. There's definitely a not feeling good enough energy. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles in reverse. King of Swords, in reverse, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, excuse me. So yeah, Cancer, they're up thinking about you. This is somebody who still has feelings for you. There's still love here. This is your energy, the Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer energy. Looking at each other, the emotions between you, the connection is still really strong. I love you energy. Soulmate energy, really strong. 
If you're on a twin flame journey, that, that's here. This person, Nine of Swords, Gemini, and Mars is not sleeping. They're missing you. They're waking up. They're stressed. Here, look, there's three roses. So that's connect, connecting to you. It's all, There's kind of an urgent an urgency around that too, like a passionate energy. They're still really bright, but there's three. So it's around some timing, I feel. And look, there's, of course, our Ten of Swords is in reverse over here. So there is an apology here that they're trying to make. They want to say they're sorry. And it's connecting, it connected right here to our Three of Cups in reverse that came. And by the way, if there's something that they said that was hurtful, or maybe they held it back, what they should have said, perhaps I love you, something else, because also validation in the King of Swords in reverse. They are apologizing for that. And it might be connecting to, not that it's okay or anything, but I just want to mention it could be connecting to somebody that's been in an energy of vices, like overconsumption. Do you know what I mean? So that energy is here. I, I kind of feel like they're in it too when they're waking up or they're just staying awake and not going to bed, like maybe partying kind of energy. And that doesn't necessarily mean going out and partying. It could. It could also just mean like being at home, you know, they're definitely not sleeping very well. They're definitely thinking of you. Again, a val a, an apology around not communicating, but also a validation that you're not here in our King of Swords in reverse. I just want to pick up this energy so we can better talk about it here. Yeah, look. So it's both connected to our Page of Wands. And our Ten of Swords in reverse. So, and the Sun in reverse, which is a delay. So you've been waiting. There, the communication, it's not, you're not communicating. It's been very stuck energy. They are really missing you. This is somebody who is up in the night. It, there's a delay in the communication. There's a delay, a long delay in the apology. This person is just uh, indecisive. They're in their head. There's some confusing energy. So I don't know if they just are... If they were hiding feelings even from themselves and they're just, how do I feel or what should I do kind of energy too. There's definitely a decision here around commitment. There are commitment issues here. It's really clear and it's keeping them awake and they're missing you. It's really strong, okay? the I guess it's just a matter of what is in that two of pentacles, you know? Because one of those is yours. It's like if you don't connect or if I don't hear from you soon, I don't know if I can keep maybe waiting. I love you, but come. this is like your energy that I'm feeling. The Seven of Pentacles, Venus and Taurus, it's like you've been waiting on this person. It's been a... An, look at that dandelion. That's around wishes and it's connected to the Nine of Cups. So it's like that's what you... Because this is also around this person, like you're my biggest wish energy. I love you, Cancer. I still love you, Cancer, and I'm really sorry for hurting you. They're having some trouble saying it. Ten of Swords in reverse, the Sun in Gemini. That's also a delay. Just, I don't know if they even, I don't think they've apologized to you before, but maybe they have, but at least what's coming through here is it is also delayed. But it's sort of like, yeah, I'm tired of waiting for this. You know, because the Empress in reverse is like this person maybe doesn't have the resources to to come here and make this happen and come here and be emotionally available and open and speak the truth. There, there's something around their energy and could also be in their life. But this biggest wish energy, you are my biggest wish energy is here. I'm not sleeping. I think about you all the time energy. I... I love you. I still love you. I want to work this out. I want to be with you. Again, even with our Knight of Pentacles, there's a lot of humility in this energy. It's somebody who has some things they have to work out, but it's also like getting out of what might be a really long time energy for you around this person who was not facing the truth of their feelings or making the decision, because I don't think they made the right decisions in terms of what you were both heading for, where you were. 
I also think they are. Look at this, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, like, you know, the commitment issues, struggling, over, oh, being overwhelmed, yet, yeah, still not quite here. Like, they're just in this energy of being stuck, awake in the night, thinking about how much they love you, sending this apology even here now, but wanting to say they're sorry, but there, there is a delay in that wish fulfillment energy. Because I, I, I feel like they've made some kind of decision already. Also here in the Two of Cups, and that's within them, themselves. That's like the clarity that, that's the hermit energy here in the Nine of Swords. It's like what's been keeping them awake. And, you know, this, 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 getting clarity with, of how they feel about you because perhaps there has been some dishonesty around that. And that's also even here with justice. Look, in reverse, three of cups in reverse. So the two of wands, look our stork here, balanced on a crystal ball, which is connecting with the world card energy here. It's a completion energy, but it's like the future is there, right? So the world card energy. And it's sitting here balanced, getting ready to fly off this movement in the two of wands, Mars and Aries making a decision, what you've been waiting for. We could be looking at literal travel in terms of somebody needing to move or move away from something, long distance energy, city, state, country, maybe even across the world. So this pile of rocks, it's meditative, but also something here we see in Austria as well on the trails. As you know, I'm in the Alps. And it's like, you know, you, you go back from a hike and you see your rock formation and it's like, okay, that's where I was. It kind of helps you find your way back. So it's like finding your way back to you energy. It's also what you've clearly been waiting for. Look at this. And our three of pentacles in reverse, Mars and Capricorn energy. So that's not connecting. It's not communicating. It is a strong energy that they're three of pentacles in reverse, the empress in reverse, that three there, that there might be some third party energies. I mean, there is. It's just a matter of what it is, you know. For some of you, are we looking at a karmic situation around a relationship, perhaps even a divine feminine energy? It could be. The twin flame energy is here. I know it's not for everybody. It just could be that energy around really anybody. But it could also be that it's around location or somebody who's, you know, not willing to give up a particular lifestyle or a life or a job, location, that sort of thing. But two of wands here, look at this, with justice. Of course, coming to a two. Yeah, and, you know, that's a 22 and that's a transitional energy. So second chance energy, it's like I have, I have not let you go. I'm not sleeping I think about you all the time. I love you. I know you've been waiting for me to communicate. I know I also owe you an apology. I'm trying to work this out. So it can't even be, it won't be for everyone, but I just have to tell you the legal issues could definitely be connected to something kind of like how they behaved and it could be connecting to some sort of vice, okay? Again, I don't think it's for everybody, um, but there is an energy here of maybe even partaking and like being awake you know this is somebody who's kind of I don't want I don't mean it disrespectfully but maybe even feeling a little bit sorry for themselves that world card energy the connection here the completion energy in the two of wands there's just such a strong distance energy between you whether it's really really far or but just I want to say the distance in general like the no contact no communication and or in separation energy is pretty strong. But there's some kind of future possibilities here. But this is also somebody I just really feel like still needs to work some things out within that world card energy that comes through here, <laughs> our little crystal ball, in order to move forward into that full energy which we saw. It's like I'm still thinking of the future with you. I haven't let that go. But there's, there's definitely karmic debts to be paid, lessons to be learned, obstacles still in the way. That's the energy that's strong. 
And it's really validated around the justice energy here for me today in reverse. Again, whether it's legal issues, other people, justice is connected to the heart chakra, you know? And so, yeah, I mean, it could be around some things that, some behaviors, other people, whatever that is. I do want to say that there is a strong connection with our Three of Cups in reverse, that it can be around, it can definitely be around another romantic connection, but again, it could be family or friends. There is a third party energy. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. But a lot of this energy, Three of Cups in reverse, Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Cups, Ten of Swords in reverse, the Hermit in reverse. Is this person awake? Keep like waking up, being awake, not going to bed. You know, just thinking about you, looking at their phone. It's a really strong connection. It's bringing in Six of Cups energy, the Sun in Scorpio. Nostalgic energy. So we're bringing in more tarot today. Another deck. I just want to move it a little bit more. And then we'll get into some channeled love messages. Cancer. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What else does Cancer need to see? Aho. I think those are yours, the star. Yeah. So the nocturnal energy is just so strong. Being pulled to you, always being pulled to you, being pulled to you now. Really strong energy, affinity. This is somebody who's, who's who, look at this, is still holding on. You are my biggest wish energy is really strong cancer. They're holding on to this hope that things will, you'll come back together. Renewal energy. It's also an energy of understanding your connection. So understanding it was fate that you were meant to meet. Your destinies are intertwined energy. Aquarius and Uranus energy, by the way. <laughs> Speaking of energy, there's a lot of energy coming in. So judgment in reverse, okay? Yeah. This is like a fear around... It's a fear around this decision here that's still here because there are they're just, I feel like, unfinished things, okay? This person from the past. They have they, they definitely have not let you go, but there's some fear around making any big major decisions. What is this? It's the eight of pentacles in reverse. Sun and Virgo energy details. I mean, it's a validation of both where you are, you could say, like things are not worked out. There's not, this is, but it's also around something else. Again, there's things that there, things that still need to be, karmic debts to be paid, lessons to be learned, still obstacles that are here. The nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so... Yeah, Virgo and Mercury energy. I got to tell you, there, there's just a strong energy, Page of Swords, Six of Cups, that this person is watching you, Cancer. Like, And there's jealousy. So I don't know if they've seen something or they're just getting feelings, you know, because it is somebody who, who definitely still loves you. There's a strong connection here between both of you, Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is what they're thinking about. It's one of these readings today. Like the future. I'm still holding on to this hope. Ten of Cups energy. Were you, had you built a life together, were you building it? Was it on the table? It's still very much on their mind. The Seven of Wands. It's like a self defensive energy. Page of, the Page of Cups. You know, look at just the energy that's in this card. It's somebody who's looking kind of melancholy who's looking like, yeah, there's, there is a, a very, there's very much a, I, I love you, I miss you energy. I'm trying to, I haven't let you go. 
I am going to work this out energy. It's keeping this person awake at night. It's super strong. The Empress is, yeah, the Empress has been uprighted. Taurus energy also bringing in Libra, Venus, the planet of love. The Empress connected both to the sacral chakra I feel and the heart chakra I love. Yeah. So lots of truth for them um, facing that, how they feel about you. Definitely that that's also coming in here. I love you. It's just really strong. It's speaking the truth and emotional openness, you know. This is something that they definitely want you to know. And it's also something I feel like you have been waiting for. Look, it's here with the Seven of Pentacles. And for things to move forward, for things to grow, for, I mean, it's the Empress, you know, <laughs> can grow anything, creation and abundance, new beginnings. And we could be looking out for some of you family energy that maybe you were in or still want to be in. Because Ten of Cups isn't just about coming together and building a life like family energy. That's here. It can also be around going exclusive, you know, introducing families, blending families. The Strength card in reverse. The Five of Wands and the Six of Wands. Wow. So definitely, yeah, I feel like it's just clear for me that it's not over. But somebody who, there's a lot of emotions between you that have been overwhelming in the past and this person is actually feeling kind of insecure and not good enough for you. Looking here at, look, the five of wands, Saturn and Leo energy, the obstacles, you could say the day-to-day -day stuff, but fantasizing energy is really strong. Even with our six of wands energy, which I like, Jupiter and Leo energy of this person who really wants to get your attention, who really wants to communicate with you. The Saturn energy, you know, Saturn is the planet of structure. Obstacles, rules, some karma. So there are some things here that they're definitely trying to work out. They have been really, I don't know, it feels like it's been for a long time holding back a lot of those feelings though, even from themselves. And there's a really strong acknowledgement to what kind of connection this is. This is definitely somebody who's understanding that you were meant to meet. This faded energy that it was faded, that you are their soulmate. That's really strong. If you're on a twin flame journey, it is here. And your twin flame can also be a soulmate. So yeah, that's not going to be for everyone, but I know it's for somebody. I want to bring in some channeled love messages. So I was reaching for this deck and this was here on another deck. Up, oh, look, you are my dream come true. It really is strong around biggest wish energy. It's like you are my biggest wish, nine of cups. And I'm still holding on to the hope for wishes coming true, the star energy. This is sliding off, is that it? Okay, yeah. Channel love messages, messages from their higher self. I feel you leaving me behind. Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, there's some jealousy. I don't know if they're watching something or hearing or just the feeling, the connection, because you're very connected. You know, this energy connection. They're, they're just poking in and looking at stuff. It's really strong Page of Swords energy for me. Six of Cups, nostalgic, looking at your social media, if it's possible to, maybe asking people about you. I love you. Yeah. Cancer right here with the Two of Cups. I love you, Cancer. I still love you. I will always love you. I never stopped loving you. I still love you. Oh, that camera makes me crazy. I'm not sure where it ended. I think it picked up. I love you. I replay our conversations over and over. I feel you leaving me behind. It's an energy thing. But they could also be seeing something. And what I was saying is the connection to the Six of Cups and the Page of Swords is so strong. Like they're, they're, 
either looking in on you if they can or getting information or just in that, that feeling, you know, of just looking at their phone. And I don't think this came through. I bury myself in work to forget you. So what I was saying when I looked up at the camera is it is bringing in emperor vibes, the counterpart to the empress. And that is really that we belong together energy, but it's also bringing in that energy of somebody who's just really working a lot, you know, and burying themselves in it literally to forget you. It's not working. In fact, again, the, regardless of what this is for you, it's a strong, this is somebody I feel like who is up in the night, who is kind of partaking sometimes and going down, I guess you could say like, excuse me, <laughs> my throat chakra, a rabbit hole, you know, and their feelings and the past energy. I know that I crossed a line with you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, it's the energy that's been coming in. I will wait for a sign from you. I remember every detail of that day. So what is that around? I want to bring in some of these and this is here. My life has completely changed. You make everything so real. I am so drawn to you. It's the star energy and I'm I'm in my man woman cave. So that's both that's the hermit energy. It's also the hangman energy. Okay. Well, that's just the way it was coming in. It was like trying to show in just too many. Please don't leave me. I feel you leaving me behind seven of pentacles. So that, I don't know if you got quiet or, or something else. And because there's a miss really strong missing you. Look, I miss you so much. This is the love of a lifetime. There's a really strong missing you energy and there's some jealousy here. So it's kind of, I don't know. Is it jealous that you're not, jealous that you're not mine? Jealous of, of somebody else. I miss you so much. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, I mean, that's a really strong energy, actually. The Tarot Closet Love Messages. I'm sending you telepathic messages. Oh, yeah, that's really strong connection to the Two of Cups. Please forgive me. So a strong telepathic energy between you. I remember every detail of that day. Is that around something specific? Because that's where the apology went. I am waking up. Interesting because judgment is in reverse. There's some fear around change here. Definitely in their man, woman cave. But the wake up energy, understanding your connection, how they feel about you, not lying to themselves, really strong because they've been lying to themselves. That does connect us to judgment. Crown chakra, I know. Archangel Gabriel, specifically the sacral chakra, I feel. And the third eye chakra, I see, the self awareness. Yeah. Their feelings for you and, and sending a message to you don't ever change. I am so lost without you. You deserve so much more been a really strong energy there's some insecurity it's like I don't deserve you but I want you yeah not feeling good enough is strong like not feeling good enough you are so beautiful I miss you so much okay I'm gonna close my eyes Let's see what they're bringing in. I was stupid, but I am waking up. You deserve so much more. Come back. Please don't leave me. I feel you leaving me behind. So it's that's an energy thing I feel, but it could be literal stuff here. I wish we could be together. Nine of Cups, biggest wish, star energy here. Somebody, the nocturnal energy of being awake is really strong. Embrace. So, yeah, there's also this energy of 
the physical longing, okay? And I'll leave it at that. I love you. I love you. So a validation and are you answering? I'm sending you telepathic messages. I love you. Love you here with the Two of Cups. I think of you 24-7, Cancer. So I think of you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I think of you all the time. I miss you so much. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self, be mine. Cancer, that's your reading today. Wow. It's been, yeah, it's a beautiful reading and it's been my honor to channel for you as always. Thank you so much for taking the time today to be here. Thank you for liking today's video, for subscribing to the Tarot Closet. Thank you for sharing the video, the channel, or any videos you feel inspired to do, if you do. I appreciate that. I'm sending you love as always and looking forward to seeing you at another Cancer Zodiac reading, Love Tarot reading, Collective Love reading, Twin Flame reading, wherever you feel drawn. Until then, take good care, and I'll see you then. Bye, Cancer.